while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Just like you got children, you got children, you got nephews, nieces, you got little sisters. You got sisters. When, when, for your example, you got, you got children. If you you got sons, daughters, you got both. If you tell you, you give your children instruction, hey, clean up your room. When I come home from work, it's, it better be clean. When you come home and it ain't clean, what's going to happen? They're getting their ass hit. That's what's going on with us right now. Right now, the conditions we living in, the young men being the young men being shot down in the streets, our young daughters, our young children being shot down in the streets, that's us getting our ass whooped by God because we chose to not keep his commandments. Read that. This is the book of Amos. What's your name, bro? Sean. Listen up real quick. Real quick. You came over here. Don't just come over here and walk away. Listen up real quick. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. He said, hear this word that I have spoken against you, O children of Israel. This ain't no parable. It's talking about us. We are the Israelites. Because what he's what he about to say, he can see it in our community. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So the whole family that he brought out of Egypt, the whole, all the twelve tribes, the whole nation of Israel that he, that he delivered out of Egypt, read. You have only I know. You only have I known. He says, you only have I known. The Most High God ain't dealing with no other nation on the earth but the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. We are his children. We are his people. Right. He's not dealing with nobody else. Anybody else that's picking up this Bible and reading it, they need to put it down because it's not for them. That's right. Read it again. You only have I known about the families of the earth. The Most High God only knows the Israelites, which is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Therefore, I will punish you. So because of that, because we are his children, he said, I will punish you for what? For all your iniquity. He said, I'm going to punish you for all your iniquity. Another word for iniquity is sin, which is breaking God's rules, breaking his laws. He, we are being punished. That's why all the killings go on in Chicago. That's why all this, wherever you go, wherever we at, we at the bottom of the city, we at the bottom of the society. Uh, our young men getting shot down in the street. We 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 be the first, we the last one hired, then we the first one to get fired. All these things happen to us because we broke, we turned our back on a god. Uh, this is the book of Judah, chapter five and wait, wait, wait. verse twenty. Now therefore, my lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So when the most, when the Israelites, the nation of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, when we sin against our God, this is what happens. Read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. We live in a state of ruin when we, when we don't do what God told us to do. When we are in sin. When we are walking up and down the streets selling drugs to our people, we're walking up and down the streets revenging, killing and shooting down our brothers. The Most High God said that that's going to be our ruin. Read. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. So the other the nations know this. As long as they keep us in a dead state, as long as they keep us in a state of mind where a brother think that it's all about him. Brother, as long as they keep us in the mind state that we just think it's a YOLO, you only live once. I gotta do me. As long as we have that selfish mindset and we stay in sin, it's gonna be our room. The nation's gonna stay on top of us, and they know that. Read. Verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, if we keep in the commandments, read. Let my Lord. They'll pass by. They say, the, the, the other nations know, hey, if we, when we keep in the commandments, leave them alone. Because if we mess with them, the Most High God going to mess us up. He's going to jack us up. 
The nations know that. That's why they do all they can. That's why it's a liquor store on every corner in the black neighborhood. That's why it's a Christianity church on every corner. They ain't doing nothing for the community on every corner. Because they know that's idolatry. They know that we're going to flock to that. Because it has nothing to do with God. Read. Let's now Lord be them and their God be for them. So when we're keeping the commandments, the Most High God is going to be for us. He's going to fight for us. He gonna make things, he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna give you peace with your boss at your job, when your boss stop uh, riding your back for nothing. But we gotta be keeping his commandments. My brother on the bike, come over here, bro. I know, you, I know you know a little something, come over here. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Cause one of the things that go on day in and day out in the city of Chicago is hatred. Every day, somebody is murdered senseless. You got young kids being shot down because you got, ain't you know what, no, give me uh, Isaiah 51 and 20. Isaiah chapter 51 and 20. One of the, the major problems in the city of Chicago is the spirit of hatred. There's a, a, a heavy spirit of hatred in Chicago. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. The sons have fainted. So the Bible says, thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have fainted. Who are the sons of God? Give me that in Exodus 44 and 22. Who are the sons of God? My brother. My brother in the red with the red hat. Come talk to me. You believe in God? You believe in God, bro? Come talk to me real quick, bro. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 4 and verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son. So the nation of Israel is the is the children of God. So when read that, go back to Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. So the Bible says, thy sons have fainted. My brother, what's your name? Mike. So when the Bible says, thy sons have fainted, what does it mean? What does it mean when somebody faints? They fall out. They lose consciousness, right? So read that again. Thy sons have fainted. So if the Bible says thy sons have fainted, we just showed that the Israelites are the sons of God. So right now today, this, this fainted ain't talking about a physical faint where you fall out and fall on the ground. It's saying that the sons of God have fainted. They lost consciousness. We lost, we lost thought of who we are. We forgot that we are the sons of God. That's why we walk, walk up and down the street aimlessly. A lot of us is in gangs, on drugs, winos, all that we fainted. We forgot our greatness. Read on. It says, thy sons have fainted, so the sons of God, the black man, the Hispanic man, and the Native American man have fainted. We forgot who we are. Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. It says they lie at the head of all the streets. My brother, what's your name? Isaiah, who lay, who lay at the head of all the streets? Sir? So read it again. Thy sons have fainted. So thy sons have fainted. Who are the sons of God? We are. We are. So it says thy sons have fainted. We living and walking. So how have we fainted? Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. So who who do you find at the head of? What is the head of all? The head of the street first. No, what's the head of the street? Yeah. The corner. The corner is the head of the street. So every street you go on, the first thing you see on that corner on that street is the corner. It ain't as prevalent today, but you still got our young man on the streets. Right. It's we it's more so how old are you? Thirty seven. So back when you was a, a teenager, it was more so prevalent then when we was on the corner. So that's what it said. They it says thy sons have fainted. So the sons of God have fainted. We lost consciousness. We lost who we are. We forgot that we the gods of the earth. Huh? Ain't no question. Ain't no question? What you mean? No doubt about it. No doubt okay. about it. Okay. So he agreeing with. Read it, read. They lie at the end of all the streets. Read. As a wild bull in 
It says, as a wild bull in a net. If you put a net over a bull's head, what's going to happen to that bull? What's that bull going to do? How that bull going to react? He going to get wild. He going to bounce all over the place. He's going to be wild. What's going on with our young men in the streets today? They going wild. You got brothers jumping out of cars, shooting at the ground, just shooting and shooting, shooting everybody. You got, that's how you, that's how you got, it, it's sad to say some brothers are shooting children on purpose, and some of them, they shooting, the, they shooting at a target and missing the target and hitting babies and in their house watching TV. That's a wild bull in the net. That's a, that's a wild bull in the net. That's how you know that this Bible is talking about us. Because ain't no other nation doing that. Ain't no other nation in their neighbor they get terrorized by their own people. Breathe. They are full of the fury of the Lord. It says they are full of the fury of the Lord. What's the fury of the Lord? So it says they are full of the fury of the Lord. So the sons of God are full of the fury of the Lord. What is the fury of the Lord? The fury of the Lord is the curse of so all this, all this evil that go on in our community, that's the fury of the Lord. We are, we are, because if, if we knew, if, if a lot of these brothers that's gang banging on the streets doing these things, if, if we knew that you were God, you were God, would a God shoot another God? If we knew we was of the same nation, that we had a, a rich and, and, we had a rich and deep heritage, and we were chosen by God, if we knew that, we wouldn't be shooting each other down on the street. We wouldn't be sleeping with our sisters and getting them pregnant and then leaving them to raise the babies on their own. Right. We wouldn't be doing that. Our sisters, if they knew how precious they were, they wouldn't be laying down and opening their legs up to some random Negro that they met in the club. We have lost sight. We have lost sight of who we are. That's why the Bible says, thy sons have fainted. We forgot that we are the gods of the earth. Right. We forgot how great we are. We walking around and just aimlessly, aimlessly, as we bring out the scriptures, people driving by, they hearing what's going on, they hearing what we bringing out, they see we reading out the Bible, but they just going about their day like it ain't nothing. This is, this is the most important information that you can receive in your life. This is life changing information, but many of our people going to continue going on in their wickedness and get put to death. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke. Of thy God. They are full of the rebuke of their God, which is the curse. We broke God's commandments, now we full of, we live in the curse. Bring it out. That's why so much evil going That's on in our communities. Read on. Verse 21. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken. But so now, now, hear this, you Israelites, you black, Hispanic, and Native American, you that are afflicted and drunken. Read. But not with wine. But you drunken, but you you drunk, but you not drunk with wine. Read. Thus saith the Lord. Uh-huh. The Lord is thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling. Uh-huh. And even the dragons of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. So what the Most High God is telling us, as we return back to Him and keep His commandments, He gonna return. He gonna take these evils off of us and put them on our enemies. But we gotta start. We gotta start by keeping His commandments. Give me that in Leviticus 19 and 17. And this is one of the commandments that if we apply, if if we apply it in Chicago, the murder rate would drop to zero. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. It says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. My brother on the bike. My brother on the bike. What's your name, bro? Eight ball. Eight ball. Yeah. What is it? What, why is there so much evil in Chicago? Too much bloodshed. It's too much bloodshed, but why? Why, why, why are black men killing black men? Because the police is much deeper than that. That's that's true too, but it's deeper than that. And ain't no ain't no structure no more now. Ain't no structure. Right. But why why is that? Because they, they go back because the evil that's going it's a little more wild now, but it was the same in the nineties, it was the same in two thousand. They put something in that infield, they need to bring something like that. 
You said they put something in the infamy? They need to bring civil life back. No, they gotta, the, the men gotta rise up and start keeping the commandments. Right. This is what gotta happen. This is what we gotta start applying. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So it says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The men got to start rising up and return to keeping the commandments. Not having it on the dashboard, not having the cross hanging from uh, the, the uh, rearview mirror, or not having it in their grandma's house saying, hey, my grandma go to church every Sunday. No, we got to start applying it. And if we apply this, read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. There's a lot of hatred that fills the streets of Chicago. If you have been anywhere, if you've been, if been anywhere else, it's hatred amongst us. We hate each other. And it's by design because one, one, we, we turned away from our God. We don't even know what's your nationality. Christian. You know, Christian, Christian is a religion. That's not a nationality. That's what that's what we out here for. That's the purpose of us being out here. But that's that's one of the reasons why it's so much, because you're not the only one. It, it, ain't, it ain't the point like put you on blast, nothing. But if I ask ten black men what their nationality are. I'm in here Christian, I'm in here black, I'm in here African American, I'm in here more. Negro, what's that? More. I'm in here more, I'm in here 10 different answers. But if I go to, if I go to uh, Chinatown and I ask them what's their nationality, they all gonna say the same thing. Because they know who they are. And every other nation know who they are, except us. They need, the shorties that's growing up now, they need some guidance. But who who that guy to start with? That's what it get. Yeah, that's what it start with. If they, if they let some of these kids' fathers out and stop letting these gang chiefs out and let them fathers out to go be a father, maybe we could have some. But they study let gang chiefs out. But it's, it's deeper than just the father. When the father get out, the father got to be doing something. That's what I'm saying. Give, give, give get that, huh? Give a chance. They let they let gang chiefs out for fans, but you won't let. How old is it? 31. You ever heard what, what they used to say? It take a community to raise a child. Take a you ever heard that so it's it's bigger than just the father. That's a big that's the biggest component. Because when the father in the house and the father is showing the child where he go, where he should what he should do, that child will grow up and be have a right head on his shoulder. Because a lot of our young men are raised by the women. And they raised and they raised up. When you raised by a woman, you raise up and you emotional. Every time somebody do something to you, ah, you, it's 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 it's, the, it's World War Three because you don't know how to manage you don't know how to manage your emotions. That's what, that's the father's job to show the young men how to manage your emotions. So read that. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter four and verse ten. Be as a father unto the fatherless. You hear that? Read that again. Be as a father unto the fatherless. So the Bible said be as a father to the fatherless. Do you know what that means? I know a lot of shorty that I know a lot of shorty that that won't listen. That's right. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a 13 year old right now. He ain't my son, but I raised him. Uh huh. And he listened to me. Right. I got him. Right. I try to do that too. In the hood. Yeah, we it's, it's too right now. It's too far gone. But it start with the thing is it goes deeper than. It's good that you got the 13 year old. You guiding him, but what you got is, is what are you guiding him according to? What is that? What is what does it mean to be a man? Now, do you do you believe in the Bible? You do believe in the Bible. Give me that in the second king. What is that first king? First king. Because what does it mean to be a man? Because that's one, one thing. Uh, that's, that's part of it. That's part of it. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing that we got to do to change, to bring forth some change in our community amongst our youth is we got to return to this Bible. We got to return to doing what it actually says to do. Because it's the book of life. It guides us and tells us how to handle situations, how to handle when there's strife, how to handle it and make peace that the Bible instructs us. Read that. This is the book of First Kings, chapter 2 and verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that 
they should die. So he said the days of David drew not that he should die. You know who David is, right? King David. So he, he was about to die, and he was speaking to his son Solomon. Read. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. So he, he, he giving his son instructions that he about to die. He said, I go the way of all the earth. All the earth die. So he said, I'm about to pass on what is the instruction he gave his son. Be thou strong, therefore. He said, be strong. Read. And show thyself a man. So he says, be strong and show yourself a man. Now you're going to define what man, what a man is. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To walk in his ways. To keep his statutes and his commandments. Read. And his judgments and his testimonies. As it is written in the law of Moses. So what it means to be a man is that this Bible is your sole authority. You lead and direct your children according to the Bible. Anything other than that, no, nah, bring that in this house. I don't want to hear it. If, it. if it goes against the commandments of God, you don't want to hear it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.